what's good youtube it's your girl kid and i'm back with another video today's video i'll be giving you guys some of the best tips and tricks on how to secure your ps5 all right so i know launch day was crazy and ever since then it's been crazy but i will be showing you guys some of the best ways to help you out and get a better chance on getting that ps5 whether you're trying to get it on Black Friday, if you're trying to catch one of the restocks before Black Friday. I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I was using. And from personal experience, it helped me out because I was able to get my PS5 by using some, a lot of these methods. All right, So let's get right into it. The first thing I want to show you and talk to you guys about is Twitter. All right? You have to use, utilize Twitter. If you do not have a Twitter page... If you're not, you know what I'm saying, utilizing your Twitter the best of your advantage, you how are you going to get the PS5? Like, how are you going to beat out the bots? How are you going to beat out everybody else? I'm telling you, Twitter gets the information first. Twitter gets the information first. So, I advise everybody out there, if you don't have a Twitter account, to make one right now as soon as possible. Make your Twitter account, and I'm going to show you some of the pages that you need to follow. Like this account right here, this is, this is an example, okay? So you see, this is what the Twitter pages are like, and this is what they do. As soon as the PS5 gets restocked or is available on at any store, any market, anywhere online, Pages like this are going to tweet out the links. You see they got the direct link for the digital and for the disc. Okay, so you want to follow. Make sure you follow this page right here, the site supply. You want to follow them, and you want to click this little notification bell right here. And once you click it, you want to make sure that you got get notifications for all of their tweets. All right, so that's one account. And now the next account I want to show you. This is another account right here at PS5 sales you want to follow them click on the notification another account you need to follow is soul links now they do also tweet out links for shoes and stuff like that but every time the PS5 goes live or is available at any store they always tweet it out so you want to make sure you follow them and turn on those notifications This account as well, you want to follow them, turn on those noties. And then I believe it's one more. Yeah, this account right here. This account right here, you want to follow and turn on the notifications. All of these accounts, all of these accounts tweet out all of the direct links as soon as the PlayStation 5s come available. It doesn't matter what time they're available either. I swear, the people behind these accounts do not sleep. They will tweet out every possible restock, let you know when, the time, and everything. So if you are not following them, you need to go ahead and follow them ASAP. And that will give you a greater chance of knowing when the restocks will be and if some stores are selling them in store. All right. So the next thing that you want to do, I want to talk to you guys about, I want, actually want to show you. A cool little feature right here is where is it at? All right, so you want to go. Oh, now this only works on Chrome, right? It's a Chrome extension, so you want to make sure you have your Chrome Web Store open, and you want to search up this right here. It is called OctoShop. All right, so this is the extension right here. This is what it looks like. All you got to do is click on it. And then download. Mine says remove from Chrome because I already have it downloaded. But yours, it'll you know tell you to download it or whatever. And once you have it downloaded, this is what I'm gonna show you an example of what it does, what it looks like. Right, we're gonna head over to Best Buy, type in PlayStation Five. All right, and once you click on it, you see. That's how you know it's working. That's how you know the, the Chrome extension is working. That's what it does. All right, it pops out right there. Now, once you click on it, it's going to show you all of the stores that have this, you know, have the PlayStation 5 listed and the prices and things like that. Now, the cool thing about this is, though, you see this little notify when in stock. You want to make sure you have that on for everything. But how you set this up, all you want to do is click on that. 
and for the check frequency you want to have it on ultra which is you know the instant and then uh stop track tracking after let, we're gonna do seven days so you do this after seven days like that's the that's the limit all right so at after every seven days you have to reset it okay basically and then you're gonna have it on track well let's see once you test it out right here you heard that little notification you get a little notification and it pops up right there all right see that's how it works so say if whenever it does go live on one of these stores and where it's available on in stock on one of these stores that's what that's what's gonna happen all right and you set that to track and you want to do this for all of these stores you want to do that for all the stores that you want to track stuff like that so that's a cool little browser extension and stuff like that and now another thing that i do suggest you guys using if you haven't already is get you an auto refresher of course all right so here you go right here just download auto refresh and then you set it up and stuff like that now all right we're going to use best buy acting as an example again all right so auto refresh make sure it's on have it on like i recommend anywhere from five to ten seconds five to ten seconds and hit play oh crap that's not what i meant to do and then bam you see and it automatically refreshes every five seconds. Okay, and we're gonna stop that. I keep clicking on that by accident. All right, so the next thing I want to show you guys um, is this site called Pop Finder. If you don't know what Pop Finder is, it it pretty much lets you know the inventory out of all these stores. Okay, all these store available stores right here. So if you want to check Target, GameStop. Sam's Club, whatever store you want to check the inventory for for the PlayStation 5. All right, so okay, click on Target. You want to click on PS5. I'm just gonna type in a random zip code. Um, for the purpose of this video, now as you can see, the, so this is what it looked like. Now, okay, it's of course it says everything is out of stock, but this is what it looks like that's how it works and once things go back in stock you know target just did a restock and stuff like this so i'm pretty sure yeah everything is out of stock but for instance if for example if yours did if you type in your zip code and then you know you got it says some ps5s are in stock in your area and stuff like that it doesn't hurt for you to give your local target or anything like that a call and see and see you know see what's up you know you won't know until you ask until you go do some investigating for yourself and also, Target has uh, an app that does the exact same thing that Pop Finder does. So it does work on iOS and Android. It's called the My Store app. And it pretty much does the exact same thing. It's just, you know, it's just an app for your phone. Just an app for your phone. Just throwing that out there. And another site I recommend you guys checking out is Stock Informer. Okay, now Stock Informer pretty much lets you know when a certain item that you want to track is in stock at all of these stores right here. So you see right here, they got the PS5, just click on that, and then bam, it just automatically tracks the um, inventory of the PS5s everywhere. You see, this is just the PS5 console, it lets you know where is it in stock. And then where it's no stock, you got all the stores, the prices, and then this is for the digital edition. And then, you know, they let you know everything about the controller, the charging station, everything, literally everything. Everything, everything. It, it even lets you know the recent, you know, stocks, like recent restocks, you know, like today's the 19th. You know, Walmart had a restock today at 3, 3 o'clock. So it lets you know right there, Walmart had a restock. And GameStop even had a restock. GameStop had a restock today, Walmart, and Amazon. And Amazon does not let anyone know when they're about to restock. They just restock at the most random moments at the ran most random times. That's why I'm telling you guys, you got to utilize Twitter. You got to utilize those Twitter accounts 
and turn on the notifications. Let them do the hard work for you. Let them do all the dirty work. They're at there. That's the sole purpose of those accounts, you know, is to find out that information and push that information out for you guys. So let them do their job. And the only thing you got to do is as soon as you see that notification, click on the link and just, you know what I'm saying? Hope and wish for the best that you can get through, that you are like one of the first people and that you can get through. Okay, because like, come on, that's crazy. Three different stores that are restocked today. Three different stores that are restocked today for the PS5. That's crazy. That's insane. All right. Now up here, you could set up, you know, the alerts when a new stock is found and stuff like that. Like it'll make a noise on your PC or whatever from your computer and stuff like that if you want. If you want that, so yeah, it lets you. It gives you a little, a little sound alert when things go back in stock. Uh, another site that's pretty similar to all of this is BrickSeek. Now, BrickSeek, um, you know, PopFinder was you know more on Target and stuff like that. Now, BrickSeek is is is. I think this one is the only site that lets you check Walmart's inventory so that's a cool thing if you're looking for for walmart you know walmart is pretty much doing all of their stuff online don't make that mistake you know for black friday and stuff think you're gonna camp outside of walmart to get you a ps5 no they've already announced it all of their stuff even for black friday is online so <laughs> it's it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy okay so yeah okay so what you want to do here is you go to the, the finder here and you type in PlayStation 5 and then it's right there. Check inventory. Okay, see, and it look it, it lets you know right here the PlayStation 5 in inventory numbers listed below are for reference only. The available quantities are being reserved by the stores until Black Friday. Okay. Okay, they let let you know off rip. So if you just wanted to know how many PS5s that your local Walmart or whatever have available, pretty much all of them just say a quantity of six plus. They're not gonna give you an exact exact number. These are just you know estimates. So there's that. If you wanted to, you know, check your Walmart inventory for PS5s or whatnot. All right, so now another thing I want to talk to you guys about with this video, um, I just want to say don't fall into that bait in the trap with the resellers. Don't do that. Do not pay $1,000 for a PS5. Don't do that. Don't pay $800 for a PS5. Not just for the console itself when it's literally stored, legit stores out there that are doing bundle deals for eight hundred dollars eight fifty and stuff like that where you get the console an extra controller and a couple of games so don't don't do that do not just go out and buy a ps5 for a thousand dollars from one of these resellers don't fall into that bait make the reseller suffer okay i really make the reseller suffer like it's the key to really getting a ps5 now is patience okay okay you didn't get it on lunch day you didn't get the next day but hey you never know the third time the fourth time maybe the 20th time you don't know you don't know like they came out on the 12th i was able to finally get an order to go through on what just two days ago just two days ago i finally was able to get through on playstation direct and i swear i've had my my tab open for playstation direct from day one so you just never know but do not fall in, i know it's hard but don't fall into that trap and then paying way too much money to get the exact same ps5 so yeah don't fall into that for with the resellers make them suffer i hope like they out there buying 20 and 30 ps5s i hope they get stuck with all of them because you gotta think about it, the stores want you to get this console okay i know it's crazy because of covid and everything's online but if you really just think about it how many restocks and how many opportunities we are getting there are some stores are legitly restocking every day every day online playstation direct 
PlayStation Direct, that's the sunny website. A lot of people don't even know about PlayStation Direct. PlayStation Direct, all right, play, this is PlayStation Direct. This is the site, all right? PlayStation Direct, that's where I got my console from. That's where I was able to finally get through two days ago, okay? They restock every day. Every day. Literally every day. Around the same time. Around the same time. So, I mean, I get it. It's a race to the finish line. We're out there fighting against other people, but they literally restock every day. And it's 100% legit. 100% legit. Two day shipping. Two day shipping. I got my PS5 two days later after my order was confirmed. So, I just say, be patient. Now, I want to talk to you guys about, um, as far as stores selling the ps5 on black friday because you're going to have another opportunity they're doing all the restocks now before black friday and then you're going to have a chance on black friday and then cyber monday they're going to restock again like it's not the end of the world they're going to constantly restock ps5s like for the rest of this year christmas up to christmas after christmas new year's up in the 22 um 2021 they're going to constantly re stop the ps5 so everybody's going to eventually get be able to get their hands on one i know we all want to get one right now but i'm just throwing that out there okay but so as far as the store is selling restocking and selling ps5s getting ready for the holidays you know we got target we got best buy amazon walmart uh playstation direct you know, those are pretty much the main stores, but there are some low key stores out there as well, like Ant Online and Costco's. Okay, so as far as Ant Online and Co now, I know with Costco's you got to have a membership, and then it's another store, I believe it's BJ's. Don't quote me on that, I'm not 100% sure, but I, it's BJ's. I believe you have to have a, a membership for that as well. Their membership is only like $10. Now, I know Costco's, their membership is like 60 bucks. But it's a lot of different low-key legitimate stores that are out there selling PS5s as well. And I know um, Kohl's. Kohl's is going to be selling PS5s as well for Black Friday. I'm not sure if they're going to be doing in-store or strictly online. Now, don't make the mistake by assuming that your local store is going to do in-store sales for Black Friday. Don't make that assumption. That is going to be the worst thing that you could possibly do. Do not make that assumption people please don't don't do that don't make that assumption call your local stores and ask them you will not know if you don't ask okay now as far as target goes a lot of people didn't even know this but some target the day after the launch ps5 initially launched on november the 12th on the 13th those PS5s that they had left over, some targets were letting you go. If it was first come, first serve. If you wanted a PS5, people were camping out or they'll just walk in the next day and they'll let you get it. Walk out and they're still doing that today. Some targets are still doing that today. So my best advice is for you to call up your local target, call up the surrounding targets around. If you don't mind making the drive and ask them the information, you would, it doesn't hurt to call and ask okay so keep the, all that stuff in mind that is not a rumor that is not cap that is a hundred percent true some targets still to this day are allowing you to walk in and get you a ps5 i'm literally telling you guys ps5s are not running out okay they are all stores are restocking every week every week target restocks every week i'm telling you I'm literally telling you, Target just did a restock online the other day. They didn't even really announce it. It was at a random time. I mean, these stores, they want you, they want you to have a PS5. They're gonna constantly keep restocking it. It's gonna happen. Everybody's gonna get one. I'm just, please be patient. Do not buy from a reseller. Do not do that. Do not spend that kind of money. It is not worth it now another thing i want to talk to you guys about is the disc versus the digital version i'm going to be 100 percent honest with you sunny already announced that they did not make a lot of disc i mean they did not make a lot of digital versions they didn't make a lot of digital versions this year so if you want to 100 percent secure your ps5 once you're trying to get one online i highly suggest going for the disc version I know the price is higher, but if you got the extra money, go for it. 
go for it okay if, if you have not noticed the digital versions go they sell out way faster than the disc version because they are very very limited stocks okay sunny said they will be pushing out way more digital versions next year okay so if you want to go ahead and get your ps5 100 percent secured before next year go for the disc version go for the disc version that's what i had to do i wanted the digital version initially but man it, literally every single time every time i was trying to just straight up go for digital go for digital my luck just ran out and so when i started pushing my focus point going for the disc version i was able to go ahead and secure one so i'm telling you you guys y'all should y'all should really consider it just consider it just throwing it out there okay so another thing that i highly suggest for all of these stores literally for all of these stores out here target best buy walmart uh playstation direct well with the playstation direct you have to log into your sunny account you have to log into your sunny account but all of these stores make an account people make an account make an account already be signed in on your account and also download the mobile apps on your phones so make sure you're signed in on your computer and on your mobile apps and once you have an account make sure you already have all your information and your checkout information stored to your account all your payment information your shipping address billing address name phone number everything already have that on your account saved and stored so when you are lucky enough to get to that checkout process you know it's a race against time it's a race against time it's a race against the bots it's a race against other people trying to go ahead and buy their ps5 you want to make sure you can check out as fast as possible so if you already got this stuff saved and stored on your account when you're checking out it's going to make the checkout process run a lot smoother now i do highly suggest trying to check out on on the mobile apps because I don't know. For me, personal experience, it seems like the mobile apps kind of run a little bit smoother versus um being on your web browser. Now, I'm not. Sh I don't know if that's 100 percent sure, but I do know it seems like I can add to the cart way faster and check out on my phone than I can on the computer. But hey, maybe that's me. But that's just something you you know you should keep keep in mind and stuff like that. But yeah, I do highly suggest you guys use all of this information that I've given you and you really try to capitalize on it. Like, once a restock is live, you need to have multiple browsers open, multiple tabs open on your computer. Use multiple devices, like have it open on your computer, have it open on your phone, the app the web browser on your phone get your your tablet your lab, your friends or your mom or dad is in the house with you ask them to help you out and pull it up on their devices as well you just want to have multiple multiple devices trying to trying to um uh check you out and get you a ps5 like you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to it's just no way around it give yourself multiple opportunities and don't give up don't give up don't give up just keep trying i know it's hard trust me i was at my point of giving up and be like man i'm just gonna wait for black friday i'm i was just at my breaking point i was ready to give up and i was just like hey i'm just gonna wait for black friday forget it and um and then when play i got the notification it came through my phone and i just clicked on it instantly i was like man i'm just gonna wait i'm gonna wait i'm just gonna see what I'm just gonna see what it does, see what it says. And I was lucky enough to go ahead and I got through. I secured my PS5 and I'm very happy about that. Very, very happy about that. Alright. So um but yeah, like I said, I got my PS5 through PlayStation Direct. All right, this is literally what happened. This is literally what happened. So all those Twitter accounts that I was telling you guys about earlier, they came through for me. They came through for me. I was literally I had my phone right beside me and I had my phone right beside me and um I was honestly getting ready to lay down. I was getting ready to lay down. Like on the day I knew that 
PlayStation Direct was going to possibly do a restock at that around that time, but not at that exact time because, hey, they do it around the same time every day. But I, for some reason, I thought they was going to do it like maybe another 30 or 40 minutes. So I was going to lay down. I was about to lay down. But as soon as like I had laid down or whatever, I got the notification on my phone. I got the notification on my phone. And I instantly just click it. That's what I'm telling you. You gotta have this stuff on your phone. You gotta have this stuff on your phone. Come on. We always got our phones in our hand. So I click the notification, click the link um from the, the whoever who posted it on Twitter. And then so with PlayStation Direct, it puts you in a queue. And a lot of people they feel like, oh man, I'm stuck in the queue, it's never gonna move, and all of this, and yada yada yada, and stuff like that. So from personal experience, I've learned the earlier you get in the queue like if you click the earlier you get into the queue the better okay the earlier you get into the queue the better i swear as soon as i seen that twitter notification probably on my phone instantly instantly click the link i clicked it i clicked the link and it put me in the queue right yeah so we're placing di direct they have a queue i know a lot of people don't like the queue and stuff like that but i mean hey it's some they got to do something to fight against the bots all these other sites none of them have a queue none of them even have the you know the little thing to protect against the bots so i mean it's like come on you get you fighting up against everybody but um so yeah i was just I, and you, and it, and it, and as soon as it starts it'll be like you know you got like an hour or something to wait so i was like all right i ain't got nothing else to do so i'm just gonna wait i got nothing else to do so i'm just gonna wait and so i was just sitting there and i was just like man thinking in my head like yo if i don't get this bro i'm just done i'm really i'm just fed up and I'm frustrated but I will say I sat there and I waited for about 20 to 30 minutes 20 to 30 minutes and then it started moving on my phone oh and also 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 like I said you gotta have ha, try to have multiple tabs and stuff open on your computer I had it open on my phone that was the first thing I had to open on my phone first and then on my computer I had like three or four different tabs open with the queue and stuff like that as well just trying to see which one was gonna be moving faster and stuff like that but the one on my phone was always way ahead of the ones on my computer that's why i say i feel like it's the early literally the earlier you get in the better chances you have with playstation direct because when it started moving about 20 30 minutes in on my phone it was saying like 15 minutes left then 10 minutes left and stuff like that but when it was sitting on my phone on my computer tabs it was still saying 50 minutes 45 minutes and I was like oh man and then it started moving a little quicker moving a little quicker I was getting a little nervous I ain't even gonna lie to y'all I was getting nervous and then bam it finally let me through and I was able to check it out it finally let me through finally let me through and I was able to check out the first time I got through on PlayStation Direct like I would say about four four days prior to this I made it all the way to the checkout, put in my inform payment information, everything, and it sold out just like that. Like, I was so close. I was so heartbreaking. I was so heartbroken by that. But then, I tried it again, and I got through. That's why I'm telling you guys, from personal experience, do not give up. You never know when it will be your day, when it will be your time. Just keep hope alive. Have faith and just keep trying. I swear, use all of these tools. Utilize all of these tools because you never, you never even know. You, just think about it. You may be just trying online, 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 and they keep selling out. And then, like I told you, some targets, I let you just literally walk in as soon as they open up. If you're the first person there, and if they have them available, they're giving them to you. You never know. It cannot hurt you to give your local target a call. So, I mean, hey, it doesn't hurt to try. It literally doesn't hurt to try. My best advice to you guys is please utilize all the information, all the tools that I've given you within this video. And good luck to you all. I really hope everybody can, you know what I'm saying, secure them a PS5. I know Black Friday is going to be crazy. That's why I wanted, to, my mission was to get one before Black Friday. I wanted to get one before, because it is going to be insane. Same. If we thought launch day was a mess, it was crazy, Black Friday is going to be pure madness. And then not only Black Friday, also you're going to have another opportunity with Cyber Monday. That's going to be crazy as well. Alright, so just look out, be on the lookout for all of these stores and the restocks, okay? So, Best Buy, 
Best Buy hasn't, we haven't heard nothing from Best Buy ever since the initial launch. I believe they're saving all of their stuff for Black Friday. Um, you know, we got Walmart. Walmart did a restock today. We do know that, like, today's the 19th. They did a restock today at 3 o'clock. Um, so be on the lookout for Walmart. Target restocks. They do do restocks, but they don't. Target and Amazon don't announce when they're going to restock. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Having those Twitter notifications on for those accounts are very useful for restocks like that. Because Target will do a restock at like 2 a.m., 3 o'clock in the morning. Amazon did a random restock this morning. I can't even remember what time it was. Like 10 or 11. Didn't let anybody know. They just do random restocks. So it's things like you're. It's going to be multiple opportunities, you guys. So just keep keep trying and stuff like that like, like like don't forget about those low-key stores that i told you guys about like and online and costco's and bj's and stuff like that and sam's club now and online and online is only doing bundles they're only doing bundles for the xbox and for the ps5 so like you can't just get a console you have to get a bundle all that stuff is in a bundle so i mean yeah, if you're going to, like, if you have been considering buying from a reseller that's trying to sell it for $901,000, why not buy something from in online when you can get all of this for this price? You get all of this. It's a bundle. Pretty good bundle deal for this price. Why buy just a console for the price of that? That's ridiculous. And GameStop did a restock today. They did a bundle. So just things like that. And don't forget, GameStop will have some available in store for Black on Black Friday. It's gonna be a minimum of two, though. A minimum of two in each GameStop store. So my man, the best bet you got is to be either number one or number two. <laughs> you gotta be number one or number two. Okay? If it's a line of people out there for GameStop, leave. Leave and go to another one. Leave and go to another one. No, if you are number one and number two, you are good to go. You are in the clear because it just says it's a minimum of two. The max could be three, and you are number four. So you out of luck, buddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's stuff like that you got to consider. It's the stuff like that you got to consider. And Twitter is the best way to get that information. Twitter is the best way to get that information. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. But that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys appreciate this information that i'm putting out there and i really hope all of this information can help you guys get a ps5 all right i really 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 do share this video like it comment down below subscribe to the channel if you are new but most importantly share this video with a friend share this information that you've gotten and utilize it you have to really capitalize on this information you really got to just use all the information that I've given you in this video and just put in, do it. You got to, you got to, you got to, you got to make your accounts on all of those, like all of the stores, Walmart, Target and all that. Make an account with them, get all your information saved and stored, download the apps, use, um, make sure you use these sites like, um, uh, Brickseek and Pop Finder. Follow all of these accounts on Twitter. That is the main necessity. Do not forget to follow these accounts. You will not regret it. Stay updated on the latest restocks with Stock Informer and use your auto refresher Chrome extension or the Octo Shop. Don't forget about the Octo Shop. And stay on the lookout for those restocks, man. Don't sleep on the low-key stores and stuff like that. But that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all so much for watching and sticking around with me. You see all of my social medias down at the bottom of the screen. You got, you know, you can follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is at dang underscore kid. I play my main game that I play is NBA 2K. If you're in it, 2K stuff like that, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications. I will be live streaming next gen gameplay on Twitch. My Twitch is it's kid underscore. You see all of my socials at the bottom of the screen. You see my hoodie. You see it. You see it. I know y'all been seeing the merch pop up 
at the top right of the screen and stuff like that. If you want to support me or check out my merch or buy some merch, you know, y'all rocking with the hoodie. Say grind to shine. That's, you know, that's my brand, GTS and stuff like that. Support me. Support the movement. It's all about the movement, man. We all grinding for something, right? So why not look good while doing it? But that is pretty much it, man. I can't wait for next gen. I can't wait. I got my PS5 today, and I'm so hyped. I can't wait to, you know, get it all set up, hook it up, and play it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of all the games and stuff I want to play. I know 2K, Spider-Man. I'm going to be playing Spider-Man. I'm probably going to get the um, Call of Duty Cold War 2. So, hey, you know, if you like my channel and stuff like that, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. And don't be afraid to follow me on Twitch. I'm a real cool person, real cool, chill, laid back. And follow me on Twitter as well. If you got any questions, don't be hesitant to hit me up, DM me, or hit me up in the comments section. And I'll respond to you the fa uh, as fast as possible. As soon as possible, I'll make sure to get back with y'all. But thank you all for watching. Good luck out there. Hope everybody can get them a PS5.